Hey everyone, Andrew Stormer here, and welcome back to my computer tutorial series where I teach you everything you need to know about how to spec your own gaming builder, YouTube video editing rig, whatever. And today we're talking CPU lanes. This topic is only for those who really getting into the nitty gritty uh, specs of CPUs and trying to learn more and more about computer hardware. You don't have to worry about this if you're just gonna do one graphics card or if you're just gonna have a couple hard drives or whatever, it doesn't matter. You really need to watch out for this if you're planning to do like a four-way SLI build or if you're doing some huge workstation or server with like 10 GPUs or um, tons and tons of hard drives in a server or something crazy like that, this is when CPU lanes come into play. So if we jump over to some websites, the first one here, I just picked out this random Intel i7 processor. And if you come down here to expansion options, you can see max number of PCI Express lanes, and it says 40. That means the CPU supports 40 lanes of PCI connection. If we jump over to an i9 over here, if we go back to the expansion options, it says it has 44. This website claims a Ryzen 1700X has 20 PCI lanes, 16 for one or multiple graphics cards, and then some for like storage and USB and whatever. And a Ryzen 2700X is just about the same. So what this 16 for a discrete graphics card processor means, out of your 20 PCI lanes, only 16 are for graphics cards. And if you have one, that's fine. You don't need to worry about it at all, but it's when you have two, three, four, that's when it starts adding up. If you didn't watch the motherboard video that I did last week, link up there, I talked about the different PCI slots. And as you saw in that one, there is PCI 16, 8, 4, 1, Express, that sort of stuff in there. And those numbers are the amount of lanes that connect to your CPU. The PCI 16 slot has 16 lanes connecting to the CPU and eight has only eight. When you have one graphics card, you wanna put it in the 16 slot so then you have 16 lanes connected to the CPU, meaning you get the most out of your graphics card. But when you add two graphics cards, when you have an SLI build or a Crossfire build, when you only have 16 lanes for graphics, like in the Ryzen case, that means that even if you have two PCI 16 slots with your graphics cards in them, it will split them up and make them eight. Eight means your graphics cards are gonna run slower than their max potential. That's where the SLI bottleneck comes into play, where you might think it's better to have four graphics cards in your system. And they do share the RAM and the processing power and everything, but they have less lanes connected to the CPU. The only way that SLI can get insanely faster than one graphics card in the future is if CPU manufacturers make CPUs that can have more than 16 lanes for graphics cards in their CPUs. This 20 in the Ryzen case, you have those four extras there for like a sound card or a networking card or some other type of card. Those can either take up like one four, whatever it is, if you have an M.2 drive in your computer, that also usually takes up four lanes right there. In this Ryzen's case, the max efficiency that you would get out of it is one graphics card and then your one M.2 and nothing else because you don't have enough lanes for anything else. Or if you do add another graphics card or like a sound card, it would be taking away the speed from 
the things that you already have in it. The other thing with lanes in the CPU is it's not just for PCI. PCI is split up into its own category, but there actually are different lanes in a CPU dedicated to like your USB ports, meaning it has a limit, it has a cap of how many hard drives you can have plugged in, how many keyboards, mice, external hard drives, microphones, whatever you have plugged into it. That's it for lanes, and this isn't a spec that PC Part Picker has, so you have to go search up your CPU that you're looking at and see if they have it on the manufacturer's website or if just any website has it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if you are just making a normal build, you don't have to worry about this. Don't sweat it if it might slow something down or something, but it's not a big deal. It will still work. But for those of you who are enthusiasts, here's another piece of the puzzle. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.